everyone welcome to this video in this video i want to discuss the, about the introductory plasma physics this is part one of this uh, plasma physics uh, in this video I want to cover up this portion that is the definition of plasma into occurrence in nature and criteria of the definition of plasma and dilute and dense plasma we want to cover up this portion okay so let's start this is the syllabus for the plasma physics or interactive plasma physics of university of calcutta uh, this is the total syllabus and this uh, reference book we want to cover up or we want to uh, follow up this reference book right for plasma physics uh, actually in the nature if you wants to know about the um, occurrence of the plasma physics where the plasma is occurrence in nature if you wants to know about the natural plasma uh, in nature the plasma actually occurs some example for uh, for 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 uh, sun in the sun in the outermost surface there is a actually plasma okay there is a plasma and lighting lighting within lighting there is a plasma aurora in this example this is a natural plasma we can see this plasma okay natural plasma now the question is what is the plasma plasma actually if uh, the, this is a solid and if you heat up this solid then it's become uh, liquid or sometimes directly in liquid and sometimes directly in gas that's it now if we heat up this gas or energize this gas then it's become plasma that's it plasma is the another state of the matter sometimes called the fourth state sometimes called fourth state that is the uh, it's happen when we uh, uh, heat up or energize the gas that is the for, for higher state of the gas is the plasma actually in this plasma there is a um, uh, some charged some uh, neutral charged particle some charged particle some neutral particle as a combination if this is a total plasma as a combination total charge will be always zero that's it so total charge of a plasma always zero but within this plasma there will be charged or neutral particle or actually happen but as a whole the macroscopically macroscopically total charge is zero macroscopically total charge zero so we need to know about this plasma its nature uh, etc etc okay and at this moment i want to discuss about the uh, laboratory use of plasma use of plasma laboratory use actually I want to discuss about the laboratory use of plasma use of plasma understand my concept that is the where is the laboratory use of plasma for example you want to uh, develop a NPN transistor NPN transistors right you wants to some semiconductor device suppose NP and transistor transistor thin film transistor for specifically transistor uh, suppose this is a thin film transistor okay that's mean we want to deposit a thin layer of n after that there is a another thin layer another thin layer p and after that there is another thin layer n like that so if you wants to develop these three layer layer by layer then you can use this plasma how suppose this is a suppose this is a chamber this is a chamber this is a chamber okay in this chamber at first there is air in this chamber so that's why we remove the air by pumping by pumping 
we remove the air remove remove the air why why we remove the air because in the air there is nitrogen argon oxygen etc etc different uh, molecules are present so if you evacuate these pumping these then these are evacuated otherwise when we develop this thin film of npn transistor then this can be incorporated and this cannot be making a proper npn transistor okay so to reduce this incorporation or impurity like that to reduce this impurity we can remove this air by pumping otherwise this can be a much impurity and we cannot get the actual performance of this transistor okay so that's why we first evacuate this after that we inject within this uh, the proper gases like uh, hydrogen plasma if you wants to hydrogen plasma you can inject the hydrogen and if you wants to npn transistor suppose uh, for n layer uh, ph3 if you phosphine you wants to inject the phosphine for n layer so you inject this phosphine after that so the uh, uh, the chamber is filled up with a proper gas which gas can be ionized and can make this thin film okay and for ionization we can uh, inject or we can supply rf power or microwave power micro microwave power rf power or microwave power we can inject within this chamber okay so at first we evacuate this so this is evacuate not exactly but we can reduce this impurity we can reduce this actual evacuate is not possible but we can reduce this uh, very much very much uh, of the order but uh, absolute zero evacuation is pos not possible okay so we can uh, reduce this impurity after that we inject the proper gas which you want to develop the layer for ionization this gas we supply this rf power or microwave power okay and by by, by tuning or adjusting we can uh, learn about the microwave in fourth semester uh, how we can uh, adjust these things so by adjusting this rf power we can ionize this gas ionize this gas and here you can see this total ionization uh, particle or the uh, gas gaseous state is neutral that's why this is a plasma this is an example of plasma in laboratory scale in this plasma we actually uh, in this situation we develop the plasma using this rf power the electrolysis process and uh, when it's become ionized that means it's break different formation P, P plus etc etc and this formation can be deposited on a substrate here there will be a substrate and deposited on a surface and making this thin film I think clear the, what is the use of plasma in laboratory to make this type of uh, semiconducting device there is a much uses and this device is much accurate or efficient or less impurity can be uh, developed by this process in the other process we can also develop this thin flame but uh, this process make you a more specifically uh, less impurity product okay this is the use of uh, plasma in laboratory scale i think clear okay go to the next one that is the uh, this uh, portion that is this uh, just we discuss about the solid you see heated up so you will be get liquid and then heated up you will be get gaseous then uh, heated up or uh, enthalpy of this system that means energy of this system will be increases then will be ionized will be get plasma or in the reverse process this is recombination in this reverse process this is condensation in this reverse process this is freezing or this uh, directly can be also happen deposition and the sublimation okay i think clear next one is the, uh, uh, the, the this is a definition of plasma it's called a plasma sometimes called fourth state of matter is quasi neutral because microscopically this is not neutral but but uh, macroscopically as a total net charge is zero that's why it's called 
quasi neutral because it is not neutral in microscopically this is neutral in macroscopically right so gas of a charged particle ions and electron and neutral atoms or molecule which exhibits collective behavior so plasma is a collection of the charged and neutral atoms but as a total charge macroscopically total charge will be zero this is the fourth state of matter which is uh, coming after the gaseous state okay uh, this was the um, first uh, plasma means greeks and it means something's molded this means in the 1929 is first time use this term next go to the next point that is in the nature uh, if you wants to uh, the plasma happening in the sun in the sun there is a atmosphere solar atmosphere you know the solar atmosphere within this solar atmosphere within this solar atmosphere in this solar atmosphere, there is no sharp edge of the sun that's it so at the there is no sharp no sharp no no sharp edge of sun no sharp edge of sun that's mean in this region there is a uh, plasma that's plasma actually hydrogen or helium plasma okay so this is the natural example of plasma and uh, you, you wants to know about the range of this uh, plasma you can see here the temperature with respect to electron density or the plasma frequency this curve will be like that this is the uh, solar corona flames glow discharge this is the example of actually uh, of the natural uh, plasma this is the ionosphere for this the corresponding temperature and this corresponding electron density within this plasma okay and the other other natural plasma occurring lighting or earth ionosphere etc this is the natural example or of plasma now if you wants to uh, wants to find out the plasma production how we can product uh, produce the plasma right so this can be uh, uh, the, this this can be explained by this uh, equation which says the ionized electron uh, ionized, ionized density with the neutral density expressed in like that uh, with the energy and depending on this production method the plasma can be high or low density uh, the plasma density high low means the ionized particle density high low uh, this can be stable unstable etc so then plasma behaves like a fluid when the plasma density is high then this behaves like a fluid and treats as a whole property in case of the dilute plasma when the density will be low this considered as individual particle that means when this is a dense particle we behaves like a fluid as a whole but when it is dilute plasma dilute particle then uh, we can uh, we can consider a individual particles we, we, we can consider this individual particles right so the common process to produce artificial plasma there is a two main use uh, two process actually use for producing plasma for to ionization of gas and next one is the electric discharge in gas at the first we example in uh, in the laboratory actually electric discharge uh, method used to produce the plasma okay photo ionization of gas means uh, uh, gas mean when uh, there, there is a gas and you uh, supply this energy using the photo light you uh, using the light you will get the energy of this system within this gas then the gas are the ionized and after ionization the particle which excess energy gives in the kinetic energy they move within this particle this is a, a, a method by which we can produce the plasma another method that is the discharge this is the use in the laboratory then a high potential difference if we apply then the gas particle are move in this uh, high electric field and they can be ionized okay and this can be produced as a plasma okay so in energy incident photo is greater than equal to ionization energy of gas when the energy is uh, this energy is higher than the ionization energy of this gas then can be uh, gas will be ionized otherwise that cannot be ionized so the supply energy must greater than the 
uh, higher than the ionization energy of the gas then the plasma will be occur in both cases right both cases so that's it and this phenomena is the gas type plasma observed in the ionized sphere uh, if you wants to know about the example of this uh, photo ionization of gas in the earth uh, ionosphere of the earth atmosphere where the sunlight in incident on the surface of the atmosphere and produce the uh, 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 ionization or the plasma okay and uh, this electric discharge this is actually used in the laboratory production the electric discharge method used in the laboratory okay so these are the two method actually used in the production of the plasma next particle interaction and a collective actually in this plasma there is two type of particle present first one is the charge and second one is the neutral so there will be two types of uh, interaction can be happen charge charge neutralization and charge neutral interaction this charge charge interaction has three type coulomb interaction the uh, two charge can be interact coulomb interact that is uh, attractive or repulsive force next one is the lorentz force because the charge particle are moving since the energy supply is more than the ionization energy that the more energy uh, gives you the kinetic energy of the charge particle when the charge particle is moving then produce a current and current mean, means there is a magnetic field and this magnetic field will produce the Lorentz force on, uh, on the charge particle. So this is the uh, Lorentz force another uh, interaction can be happen and the polarization the charge particle polarized and the neutral part of the plasma so this is the polarization so these three effect are actually happening for charge charge interaction okay and depending on this interaction there is two types of uh, plasma weakly ionized plasma and strongly ionized plasma when we say weakly ionized plasma when the charge neutral interaction is much greater than charge charge interaction that means this charge charge interaction is very less uh, so the when this charge charge interaction is very less very low then we can say this is a weakly ionized in the opposite case when the charge charge interaction is very large then this is called the strong ionization so we can compare this charge neutral and charge charge interaction and we can say these two types of uh, inter uh, ionization can be happen within this plasma go to the next point some basic phenomena uh, related to the plasma first one uh, plasma is electrically good electrical conductor because there is a very large number of the free electron because these are the ionized ionized mean the electron is can be free so that's why this is a uh, good electrical conductor as well as it is a good thermal conductor also next point due to lower mass of the electron compared to the ion there is a uh, electron and ion also since the electron is the less uh, mass so it can diffuse its diffusion rate is higher so uh, it may produce, produce the polarization of the electric field uh, this can produce polarization since the electron mass is very low electron mass is low so it can uh, uh, diffuse so electron when diffuse then this side electron that means they, they are they are produce a polarization when this produce polarization then this produce an electric field also uh, electric field also this electric field helps to move the ions which ions uh, this electric field uh, helps to make this uh, this this move this electric field helps to move this ion so uh, as a result this uh, diffusion rate of electron and ion will nearly same okay so this type of diffusion is known as ambipolar diffusion that means at first the electron are moved due to its less mass after moving this electron they produce polarization this polarization produce electric field this additional electric field helps to move the ions and this result as a result this electron diffusion rate of electron and the ions are nearly same and this type of diffusion called is ambitious diffusion this diffusion actually proportional to b square with the magnetic field and there is another type of diffusion bomb diffusion which is actually inversely proportional to b this is inversely proportional to b square ambipolar diffusion and another diffusion bomb diffusion which is inversely proportional to b 
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ड्यू टू कलिशन बिटुईन चार्ज चार्ज एंड चार्ज निल पार्टिकल एम्पलीट्यूड अब इलेक्ट्रोमैगनेटिक उल भी रिड्यूसेज वेन उई एप्लाई इलेक्ट्रोमैगनेटिक वेब उथ इन दि गैस टू प्रड्यूस दि प्लजमा दिस इलेक्ट्रोमैगनेटिक वेब एम्पलीट्यूड उल भी रिड्यूस बिकज डिव टू चार्ज चार्ज इंटरक्शन और चार्ज चार्ज कलिशन और चार्ज निल कलिशन दिस इज कल्ड लैंडाउ डैम्पिंग सो When we apply the electromagnetic wave within the gas to produce the plasma, when the plasma produces this charge charge or charge neutral particle collision reduces the amplitude of this electromagnetic wave, and this is called Landau damping. The opposite phenomena also happen when the energy transfer from plasma particle to electric electromagnetic wave. In this case, the electromagnetic wave energy reduces. That's why the amplitude reduces. But when the reverse will be happen, that's mean the energy from the plasma particle moves to the electromagnetic wave. Then the amplitude also increases of this electromagnetic wave. This phenomenon uh, is actually uh, happening in this instability of the plasma. Then this plasma cannot stable when the energy transfer from plasma to electromagnetic wave. Right? When the energy transfer from electromagnetic wave to plasma then this is a stable configuration uh, and this is the landau damping but in the opposite sense when the energy transfer from plasma to electromagnetic wave then the plasma cannot be stable and this is the in, uh, this happening in case of the instability of the plasma right go to the next point that is the radiation from plasma so from plasma there are also be radiation because there is a charged particle moving and you already know that when the charged particle move there will be a radiation right so radiation from emitting atom or molecules black body radiation emitted uh, uh, emitted from plasma in thermodynamic equilibrium ionization recombination both occur so radiation uh, comes when recombination happen right so radiation come when recombination happen this radiation constitute the line spectra of the plasma by this radiation we can we can get the line spectra of a plasma right so radiation from acceleratedated charged particle you know from acceleratedated charged particle there is bench strength lung occur and there will be three types of uh, radiation first one uh, when the charged particle unbounded before and after collision before collision and after collision this is unbounded this charge is not bounded free do both are the free then this is free free bran strong when the charged particle free, uh, uh, bound after collision this is this was free but after collision this bound with this charge this particle this is called free bound and another one in the mag uh, magnetic field this will be cyclic uh, spiral path if this move in this spiral path then this is called cyclotron radiation so there is three type radiation happening in this plasma due to acceleration of charged particle okay next point uh, this is a important point criteria for definition of a plasma what is the main criteria to form a plasma to form a plasma the what is the main criteria to form a डिसचार्ज मेथड देन Uh, at this negative portion there will be char positive charge has accumulated in the other side if there is positive the negative charge will be accumulated then uh, this charge has accumulated in the, within this uh, region this is actually device shielding that's mean this is sealed up in uh, this is shielded up uh, from that region in from that region this is a sealed up okay this is the device shielding and if you wants to find out this uh, radius or etc etc this pair actually known as the device pair and this length radius is the device length lambda d this is known as lambda d device length okay and if you wants to find out the expression of this device uh, length you can use this poisson equation that is gat square phi equal to minus rho by epsilon and rho is the uh, this is the density of ion, uh, ions and this is the density of electron so electron charge is negative that's why this minus happening and after that if you take the distribution maxwell distribution uh, 
uh, and putting this value you will be get this expand and they expand uh, so if this is very small so this term are neglected we will take the first term uh, after get taking first term if you solve then the phi will be like that while lambda d equals to this this is known as the divide length so that means wait within the plasma there is a charge accumulation within a sphere like sphere so this radius of the sphere actually divide length uh, so this is the length in which this device link and this is the device link device shielding happening and the condition and the condi uh, condition of this de device shielding actually is like that that is the the length of the chamber uh, we say about this chamber of this plasma chamber this is plasma chamber the length of the chamber this chamber if it is the length of this l and this dy length lambda d this length of this chamber will be much greater than this dy length such that this device shielding will be happen and the plasma will be sustained otherwise when the uh, chamber length is comparable or the small to this device length then this plasma cannot be stable okay so so for st for stable configuration the first criteria to stable plasma is the uh, length of this dimension of this chamber must be very much greater than compared to the device length and the device length can be find out by this expression and here you can see this device length is increases with the increasing temperature or decreases with the density etc okay so using this uh, formula we can idea about you, you, you can find out uh, by this formula you can find out the value of lambda d and after getting the lambda d you must take the dimension of this body or the chamber is very much greater than to this lambda d right go to the next point second criteria is the uh, uh, charge density into lambda d q will be very much greater than 1 that means uh, lambda d q1 is the volume and this is the number density the actually the total number of this uh, criteria is very much greater than one such that this plasma will be sustained okay second criteria and third criteria is the total uh, ionization uh, charge that is a uh, not independent one can be expressed like that is the total ionization charge must be equal to the electronic charge such that total will be will be neutralized and fourth uh, criteria can be obtained from the plasma frequency plasma frequency actually uh, this charge particle move within this um, region this is the uh, this is the method of the electrolyting method that means there is a two uh, plated positive plate and negative plane this is the electric field and this uh, charge particle are uh, oscillated within this region and this is the corresponding frequency this is called the plasma frequency this is called the plasma frequency and this condition that is the plasma frequency into tau this is the time uh, will be must be greater than equal to 1 or you can say this plasma frequency will be the greater than equal to the, the uh, electron natural collision frequency this plasma frequency this is the plasma frequency must be greater than to the uh, electron natural collision frequency this is the fourth condition to the from the uh, stable plasma to the from stable plasma so for stable plasma you have four condition four criteria you need to criterion you need to satisfy for four criteria first one is the device shielding that means the dimension of the body must be greater than to the device length second one the charge particle that is the total charge is greater than one that is the any into lambda dq very much greater than one and third is the total charge of ionization will be uh, equal to the electronic charge and fourth one is the frequency of the plasma is much greater than the natural collision frequency of the electron okay so this is the fourth criteria to form a uh, stable plasma in the next class we want to discuss about the other part of the syllabus so no. Um, that's it for any query you must cover the comment box so thank you